Okay. So um, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Ms. The question Chan. I'm gonna ask you, Bobby, because um, I don't even know if I have the answer to. <laughs> Well, I hope I have the answer. <laughs> How can you tell when the person you're dating wants a serious relationship with you? Well, mm. it's not always so easy because sometimes people can pretend and mm. they're really good at pretending until they get what it is that they want from right, you. Right, right. Yep. Mm. So they're phony. Mm. Fake. Yes. Type yes. People. But really, take. I think the best way that you can tell mm -hmm. is truth, mm -hmm. lies, right. right? You have truth and lies. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, sometimes we all might tell a little piece of a lie, mm -hmm. but for the most part, truth versus lies. When yeah. someone is able to really tell you the truth, mm -hmm. they're sharing their truth. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a good way to know that they're becoming really serious with right. you because they're opening up, right? Yes. And they're sharing the truth. Yes. Lies, mm -mm, honey, you ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. All you're trying to do is manipulate and fool and trick. Right. Because you lying. <laughs> you ain't got to lie, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can also so, tell you consistency too. Yes. Like yep. if, if you if you're doing a certain thing and I need you to be consistent. Like when you're saying, like you're telling me one thing and your actions are another, you know what I mean? I don't I, I I don't know. And then that one time that every now and then you're doing those things that you, you're showing that me that you want to be with me. And then all of a sudden you stop doing those things and then you go back to doing those things. I think you yeah, got to so juggle. Definitely it's, it's, it's juggling, <laughs> not good. But you know, it's when their actions, mm -hmm. you can see it in their actions. Actions speak louder than words people yes. say, but for me, I need actions and the words. Yes. I need them both, but I need your actions to match your words. Right. Be congruent. Yes. That is what I need. Keywords. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Show me, baby. Uh -huh. Show me. Mm -hmm. And this way I'll know that you are serious, but I want to hear it too. I, you know, yeah. the words too, they matter. They mean something. Absolutely. But I like the point that you were making about ju um, juggling. Yeah. Don't be a juggler. Yeah. You know, to me, a person that's juggling, they're probably not giving you the truth. Mm -hmm. The lies. lies. The lies. Yep. Candy Barris, in your words. The lies. The <laughs> lies. The lies. lies. I'm lies with you with that, girl. Exactly. Yes, yes. No one exactly. wants that. Mm -hmm. So be honest about what it is. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you see that, and like you said, consistent, they're consistently mm -hmm. being honest with you, mm -hmm. sharing. Oh, yep. and another good thing is, you know, when a person is ready to bring you around their family and friends, I think that's a yes. very good sign that yes. they might be serious about you, Absolutely. right? Because generally, you know, I mean, I've heard this from guys. Mm -hmm. They usually like to show off their yeah. girl. Yep. They want to show off. Oh, this is who I have. And she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Whatever their pleasantry is about this person, they want to show them off to their friends yep. and to their family. So when they start bringing you around those people, they might be a little serious. Exactly. But now what is a good amount of time to expect that? I don't know what yeah. that time amount is, mm -hmm. but... I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't put, I wouldn't put a limit on it, but I don't bring everybody around my family. This is not, yes. it's not grand situation. So mm -hmm. if I do bring you around, that means you're special to me. Yes. Um, and I want you in for the long haul. But you know what? Sometimes you could think the person is special and you could feel that you're serious, but, and think that they mm -hmm. are serious. So you know what? Yep. I think you need to ask, right? You should ask Let's the talk about question. It. Yep. Yes. So you can make sure that you are on the same page. Yep. Because mm -hmm. one time I thought, you know, not serious, like let's qualify what serious is because serious could be different things for different people. Different people. Are we serious and ready to, for marriage or are we just serious to be exclusive? So those are two different things. Right. And there was a time that I thought, you know, that we, I was exclusive with someone and I did bring him around my family. Right. And I asked him the question probably, you know, two weeks later and found mm. out he wasn't ready. No. Don't no. let me don't mm -hmm. don't yeah, yeah. I think a conversation needs to be had because I I've you know what? I've been in the same situation and I brought around my family and then you you turned out to be a frog. But that's why I'm saying actions and words, because yep. his actions, it did make me feel that he was like exclusively yeah. dating only me, you yeah. know, because, yeah. you know, he may not make time for me and yeah. his very busy schedule. Mm -hmm. um, I can definitely feel, mm -hmm. 
I can definitely feel that we were connecting, but, you know, in a special the way. That there was something said. really, something very special brewing. And I know mm -hmm. we both felt that because mm -hmm. you can tell, yeah, right? Yeah. So I think that part was there in the actions, mm -hmm. but the words were never spoken in right. that way. The words right. I never, I didn't ask about exclusivity. I just kind of assume because like, you know, yeah. In this day and age, I'm not 25 or 35, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um and for me, I definitely express, you know, what it is that I'm looking one, for. Yeah. I definitely said that I'm only dating one person at a time, mm -hmm. and I did express that. Yeah. So we can't be afraid to ask that question. Exactly. We have to ask that question and then don't be afraid mm -hmm. to give a truthful answer. Yeah. Right? I think your actions and your words must align yes. with one another. Yeah. You know, because you could tell me you could call me babe and I love you all you want. And then you go right out there and, and tell Barbara, Brenda and, and Belinda the same thing. <laughs> so I'm, I need you mm -hmm. to be honest, like yes. from the beginning, like, listen, I love you, but you know, I don't want nothing. You know, I don't want to go here, whatever. Just, just say, talk about it, communicate with me, please. Well, well, Jennifer, before you can even get to the point of feeling like you love me, if you already know from day one, dang, who I want to hit that. <laughs> and you know that that's all it really is. You're just looking for say somebody that. to have fun with. Either say that or just uh -huh. let me know that, you know what? I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm not looking for anything exclusive. Yes. I just want to date. You right. can tell me that before the love, because of course, once you start having strong feelings for right. someone, it becomes difficult because now you don't want to um, have the thought of, well, if I tell them this, I'm going to turn the person off. Oh, I'm going to yeah. push them away. Yeah. And I don't want them to be out of my life. I still want to hold on to the person. Mm -hmm. But if you say it in the beginning, it's all fair game. Not yeah. to say that you can't get caught up in your feelings yeah. because you still can, yeah. Yeah. but at least you held on your responsibility. Yeah. You did your part. Yeah. Not saying anything is so selfish. Yes. Don't take away my choices. Give me mm -hmm. an option. Like yes. we grown people. Yes. Just, just be honest um, mm -hmm. from the beginning. And even if you feel like it's taking a turn in another direction, like, you know, just, just let's talk about it. Like yes. it's a continuous conversation that we need to have. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, like I said before, don't be a juggler because we're not in the, this is not the circus. And I'm not a clown. And exactly. <laughs> exactly. And we're not clowns. So keep it 100, period. Yeah. Like, don't, don't lie to me about like your, your intentions. Be intentional with what you're doing. You know, like yes. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to sit there and take away my options or mm -hmm. my time mm -hmm. uh, and waste your time and you have no intention of, of taking it to the next level. You know what I yes. mean? So. And and to me, even to figure out if you want to go to the next level, you right. need to be exclusive right. to figure that out. You because have if to. you juggling huh. multiple people, how can you really figure that out? Yeah. You know, you're not you're not valuing mm -hmm. somebody's not being valued. Somebody's and actually I valued. think no one's being valued. Nope. The people you're juggling, they're not you're not seeing their true value and they're not actually even seeing yours mm -hmm. because deception has to come into play yep. in order to juggle. So you're lying mm -hmm. and ain't nobody happy and not even you. Yeah. The guy's probably not even happy either doing He's so that. Tired so tired and exhausted. You, yes. you gotta be tired. Go take yes. a go take a nap. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then I'm we're too grown because yeah. when we become grown, mature people, we got to put away childish things. Right. So I think do those things when you're very young and yeah. you're in your 20s. But when you're in your 20s, you still expect somebody to be loyal to you. You do expect that because you yeah. don't know no good yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, but as you reach a certain age, you know, past 40, to me, you probably had a lot of or enough life experiences that. Mm -hmm. Are you mature yet? Yeah. I think it's it's all about maturity. You should know what you want. Um, but and at the same time, like if you're still if you're remaining selfish right now in this stage, like something is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's and it's sad because you know, there is a special place in people like you. Oh, <laughs> I'm just joking. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> just ooh, ooh. <laughs> and and for me, I feel even if you don't know what you want mm -hmm. you do know at least what you don't want how right, about that right tell me what you don't want exactly. and what i don't want is to be in a serious relationship right right i agree you know what you don't want say that 
So, you know, I think that's my answer. And um, let's see, how can you tell when mm -hmm. the person you are dating wants a serious relationship with you? Well, I think the first thing, ask. Right. Ask the question, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hear what they're saying, and mm -hmm. then now watch what they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like their that. Actions and their I like words. That match and they're congruent yep girl you might have a winner right right there. darn it <laughs> <laughs> oh god i think that's a sign <laughs> yeah so i think you might have a winner you yeah. might have a winner yeah so that's all that i have to say about that question yeah okay you know jen so very recently my friends were talking about you know when you dating someone, mm -hmm. um, whether it's a full-fledged relationship or you're just kind of dating somebody and then you're no longer mm -hmm. interested in the person. Right. Instead of telling the person, having a conversation, mm -hmm. they was like, no, you should just, you know, just don't take their calls after a while. Mm -hmm. You start taking their phone calls and you don't mm -hmm. call them or you're never available yeah. when they want to see you that they'll get the message, you know? Um, but I think that was pretty much talking about doing something like that when it's kind of in the earliest stages instead mm -hmm. of telling someone you don't have to tell them yeah but I don't agree with that yeah I, don't I like think that. that's awful for me because yeah. I'd rather hear the truth of yeah. what it actually is but actually sometimes if you tell the person mm -hmm. the truth mm -hmm. you might actually help them out with what they need to do going forward for yeah. the next person that they meet because yeah they might learn something that yeah. caused um, you to not be interested or lose interest right. in them, right? So right. I think that you should do that. Don't just lie. Yeah. You know, see, that's what I'm talking about. When you can tell if somebody is serious and wants a serious relationship, right. truth lies. Right. Truth versus lies. lies. Yeah. You don't have to avoid the person. That is hurtful. Yes. And I definitely wouldn't <laughs> want it done to me. Yes. So I wouldn't do it to somebody else. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and and ghost you not gonna do that I, I believe and another thing is like I, I i was talking about that before sometimes a person will create some type of situation and okay. argument mm -hmm. to make it easier for them to make yes. their exit you know which is mm. a narcissist um behavioral yes. pattern okay you know i'm gonna put my my therapist my psychology <laughs> hat on because TikTok University taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, you know, 2.0. A, a person, <laughs> instead of ghosting you, they will create a, a, a volatile situation mm -hmm. where they, they'll make you be like, you know, that's why I was leaving you anyway, because it, they're cowards. So they Ooh, they, can, they say certain, certain things to start an argument so they can to exit stage left. Yeah, that's a coward, right? You know, I think it's a coward too to just avoid a person. Yeah, ghosting a person. I, that's cowardly. I, I was talking about also talking about writing Dear John letters, <laughs> um, and okay. I was singing a song because I, I I watch a lot of sitcoms. I'm 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 like a you know what do you call it not a you like an 80s baby uh, you might be an 80s baby but you know a lot of songs so come so on how that you know because I, I, I don't know about that it goes song. dear john dear john by the time you read this letter i'll be gone life goes on anyway oh, what? for real that was on television that's a horrible way to tell somebody I'm oh, out of no, here. i don't know that was a whole sitcom and it was about this guy, this girl, she didn't want to be bothered with the guy anymore. So she, one day she wrote him a letter while he was at work. And when she came, when he came home from work, mm -hmm. the letter was there by the front door and she ghosted him like 80 style. It was oh hard. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it, dear John. I don't know how come I'm not familiar with that song. Y'all know about the song and that song. Yeah, I don't too know young. about it. She, but I'm older you're than you. Young. No, you're I'm young. not. I'm older but than her. I don't dear know. Dear John was a whole sitcom. And I would every time it would come on because we'd come on late night, like okay. with, with all those other stuff. Um, because I would when, when we would come home from church, I would watch like Mash. I'm so old school. Oh, I hate this um, that music for Mash. Like <laughs> no, I do. See, I was watching uh, the honeymoon. Is probably did, when you yeah, was watching Mash. Did John? <laughs> um, what else would come on? Cheers. Oh, I used things. to love Cheers. And, yes, yes. Uh, when did John would come on? Like I would start singing the song. Did John? And that was a horrible way to go somebody, just it write them a letter. Is. I mean, it's better than just not picking up the phone. At what? least you have a, right. oh, a, right letter, a letter saying, yes. I'm yep. leaving because yep. I can't deal with blah, yes. blah, blah, or I'm not 
I'm a punk. I can't. But so at least a person has something. Or but if you ghost, ghost. Yes. Not. Or you probably didn't have to do anything wrong. Because sometimes it's not even that you've done anything yep. wrong. The person is just not ready to meet you at the level where you want where, them to yeah, be, exactly. or what you're ready for. Exactly. And that's okay. You don't have to hide. Mm -hmm. You can just say that. Listen, yeah. I, I like you a lot, or yeah. even if I love you. But the fact is, I once said this to someone, and I meant it from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you like family, like friend. I have this family mm -hmm. love for you so much that I respect you. Mm -hmm. I know that I cannot love you the way that you, you want to be, be loved, loved. Uh -huh. in a relationship. I'm not in love, and I don't think that I'm going to get to that level. Mm -hmm. And you just deserve more than what I can give so you. So, Bobby, I told I told him he, that. How so do you I take that? Sometimes you gotta love them enough to let them go. How do you take that? Because he was heartbroken. Because to he me, was. no matter how much you sugarcoat it, if you, I don't know, like, but you just say something like that. Listen, you can sugarcoat. You you can tell them and give them the time to mm -hmm. get over it because mm -hmm. eventually you can get over it once that I believe you can. Mm -hmm. Once you know what what you're dealing with, you mm -hmm. can't deal with something when you don't know what it is, right? Yeah. If the person don't ever tell you and they keep stringing you and stringing you, but yeah. you're never happy truly with them because they can't really give you all of them because they yeah. don't really want to be completely in the situation. You so know? you're constantly struggling and yeah. wanting more and feeling like something is missing anyway. Yeah. How long do you want to suffer? You know what? You, you, you know, you, cut the right. cancer off. You're right. Cut the toe off. <laughs> cut the toe off <laughs> before it rots. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but you're right. I did, but I, I'm not. I did that, dear John moment. But I didn't do. I text like, listen. You know, I think it's best that we, you know, go our separate ways. You know, I love you. I don't want to argue on. A, I don't want to fight. I think mm -hmm. that we, you know, and the person didn't listen to me. They still mm -hmm. came like, yeah, the hell with that. You ain't, you ain't go. And I'm really. <laughs> that's that's their problem because you did your part as a responsible. I really, from the bottom of my heart, was like. I can't be bothered with you no more. No. And they still was like, they, they didn't respect it. No, well, you did your responsibility. You handle it as a mature adult. And it I tried like to that's like. That's all you can do. And that's all go. you can be held accountable for. Exactly. And I, so. so as long as I feel like you communicate, don't ghost them. Mm -mm. You know, no, that's I mean. Not good. It have should be some enough love or like respect mm -hmm. something there to, than to just yeah. ghost somebody. That is so disrespectful to me. I think it's disrespectful. Yeah. I think it's rude. I think it's extremely hurtful Absolutely. when you feel that you've given someone your earnest and honest time, mm -hmm. your thoughts. You know, yeah. you spend time and forget about it if you've been intimate with them, and they're gonna ghost you. Like really, that's yeah. all, that's all. Because then it gets awkward. You're going to see them somewhere and you're going to be looking like, you know, nah, you don't want that. And don't put me in a position to run into you with Keisha yeah. Nunn. If that, <laughs> I don't want to run into you with Keisha yeah, Nunn because you're just vibe. not serious, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that's a bad vibe. Yeah, just and be honest about it. What about running into Keisha Nunn and, and what you didn't do with me in a relationship? You're doing it with Keisha. Uh oh. So how you got better for the next person? But sometimes we make each other better for the next person. Oh, if you tell, dang. that's why I think it's good to have conversation and say this is not working for me, and this is why it's not working for me. And this doesn't always have something to do with that person. It's not you. Yeah. Because you being the best who person, the best person that you could be. Yeah. You are wonderful. You do this. You do this. You do that. But there's something still missing, and to Absolutely. me, that's chemistry yes chemistry, chemistry. yeah i need that everybody mm. might not need chemistry in order mm. to be happy no, in a relationship you definitely need some, chemistry. No, some people are okay i mean i i've heard some women say listen this is a good dude he can take care of me it's a, hard to find a good mm. man out here like i don't care about the chemistry i just get through it and do what i got to mm -hmm. do because i, I mean, can have a good life i can live good but that ain't good enough for me yeah i think you do need some level of chemistry or I might be you, or you know, something where you might be the calm one, and I I might be the crazy one. <laughs> so I, you know, we 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 complement one another. Yeah. So, but there is it will have to definitely be some chemistry. Yeah. You can deal with me all my crazy because I'm gonna I'm gonna make it spicy for you. Yes. You know, and, and I want to know what I'm doing wrong too. Mm -hmm. You know what else? I mean, I know I'm kind of it's okay. On to something else. That's all right. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. So when you're in a relationship, I think it's also good to have a certain segue point where mm -hmm. you kind of check in with each other just to see right. what you could be doing better yeah, or yeah. what might be lacking or maybe you mm -hmm. was really good at this thing, but you're not doing it anymore. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. instead of waiting until it builds up and now it's a problem. Yeah. You just check in every now and then. Yep. You know, I mean, that goes back. Problem. That goes back to this question, like, okay, like you know, what you miss about yes. like the relationship yes. after the honeymoon it's stage over. passes. Yes. Like, what do you miss most about the relationship? So checking in every now and again. Yes. That and, is a good. Point, you know what yes. I mean? And keeping it spicy. Yes. You 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 know you're always gonna be it's always gonna be fresh. Like check in, just like you said, yes. check in every now and yes. again. Maybe you know? we could have a little phrase um, with your partner that let them know, like, we, we got to get back to something that we, we're missing. Mm -hmm. You know, we're starting to get too complacent. Maybe for me, let me see if a P word could be like, honeymoon baby. I like that. Honeymoon baby. I like that. So, or or a key word to take them back to a time where you did something really yes, spicy. Yes, yes. Like, baby, mm. remember that time? And <laughs> <laughs> So they can remember it's a trigger, like, yeah. Yes. Then, yes, you know, yes. you know, all right. So we can really, like, okay, let's get back to that. Mr. Child's restaurant. <laughs> you know Mr. Child's bathroom. Oh, Bobby, you want to tell us? You want to tell us something? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm Mr. Child, I've never been. I don't even think I've ever, Well, I might have been there a long time ago. Listen, but no, nothing happened over there. I did that not one time on that anything. plane, you know who you, know, you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. All right. And I thought I was gonna be Scotch. No. <laughs> we are P. I'm gonna be PG rated, no, for real. Like, you know, you know, you know those keywords and that it remind that person. Yes. You know, oh wow, that was a good time. Yeah. Let's let's yeah. do something like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, but just basically to wrap it all mm -hmm. up, I mean, I don't know. Do you have any final words? No, guys, I, I don't have final words, but this has been a whole adventure. We're going to put up even some of the behind the scenes buffoonery and craziness <laughs> that goes on when we sit here <laughs> trying to do these, these little real talks for you because it's hilarious. It seems like it's it's been all day, like we've been doing this for 24 hours. <laughs> Little but listen, if you guys have some advice, yeah. please let us know, especially gentlemen, you know, and yeah. I, I like a gentleman, yeah. gentleman, gentleman, gentleman. Yeah. So if you hear us and you have advice for us of how please we do. can recognize when a man is serious and he wants a serious relationship. Or he's not that into you. Okay. If I didn't hit on the correct point mm -hmm. or there's something you can add, please add it in the comments down yeah, below. Each one, do. teach one. Let's help each other to grow, to be better. Because when you know better, you can choose yes. to do better. Right. So, I love it. Ask that question. Find out if they're serious, if they want that serious relationship. Mm -hmm. Get those words and make sure that the words equal the action. Yes. Keep it Spicy. Yes, Scotch bonnet. Keep it Scotch bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again for watching. Hit oh. the subscribe button so you don't miss anything upcoming. Right. Follow us on all social media all outlets. And also you can get the game for Real Talkers yes. at realtalkers.com. The link is above in the bio. Yay. So thank you guys. Thanks, so much. guys. We have this fun. Real Talkers. We're real people. Say real things. Yay. Bye. 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 <laughs>